I think that, you know, most people never get inner peace because they spend all their time fighting outwardly. They spend, they spend all their time thinking that they're unhappy because it's their job. They spend all their time, they're unhappy because it's their marriage. They're unhappy because it's, you know, they don't have the best kids or they're not the best kid. They're unhappy because they have crappy friends. They're unhappy. And so they spend all their time focused on everything out here. And obviously inner peace eludes that person. All right, my name is Joseph Caldwell, and this is the Sales Wolves Podcast. I am your host today, and I am the only sales wolf in the house. Ow! It's weird doing it by yourself without Tyler here. That's odd. But uh, but Tyler is actually um, working with our business in the field today, so I figured I would jump on here real quick and do a Sales Wolf Podcast for everybody. And I was thinking about what to do it on today. Um, and something that I have been pondering and, and going over personally, you know, through your life, you have different, you know, we've talked about it in the past where you're either in a storm, coming out of a storm or headed to a storm, like life's going to happen, bad stuff, good stuff. It happens to everybody. Right. Um, but I've been on this journey over the last couple years for inner peace And so this is a little bit different view on the topic. And I think that, you know, most people never get inner peace because they spend all their time fighting outwardly. They they spend all their time thinking that they're unhappy because it's their job. They spend all their time, they're unhappy because it's their marriage. They're unhappy because it's, you know, they don't have the best kids or they're not the best kid. They're unhappy because they have crappy friends. They're unhappy. And so they spend all their time focused on everything out here. And obviously inner peace eludes that person because all they're focused on is outward. And so one of the things I've been thinking about, especially over the last six months, is that if I focused my the battle on the inside of me for inner peace if i focused on on developing internally would that change the external without me consciously trying to go change the external or fight those outward battles and it's really fascinating what's happening is that the same stuff still happens around me it's just i'm a different person and it can't steal my peace because the peace that I've, I've, I'm winning on the inside, and it's not every day. I mean, my gosh, um, that's not easy to be be in a peaceful, good place internally. It just isn't easy. And but I think what I'm learning now, and I hope I'm making a little bit of sense. But what I'm learning now is that that's the only battle worth fighting is for your own internal peace. And so. And so when the things happen externally, when you get fired or when you, a relationship is, is destroyed or when something somebody does something mean or bad or evil to you, that is not, does not have the ability to steal your inner peace. And only through your inner peace can you find joy and happiness. And so I've wondered before, like you see some of these people that we would just call legends or saints or whatever, like Gandhi or or Mother Teresa, and it wasn't that they never faced challenges. It wasn't that they never faced issues. They faced a lot of them. They faced hardships all the time. In fact, they spent their life um, alleviating that for people and serving people. And I always wondered how could they how could they appear so peaceful? How could they appear so joyful and so happy? And that was because their battle was on the inside. They won their own peace on the inside. And that way life, because life's going to happen to all of us, it's, it's going to happen to everybody. If something bad hadn't happened to you, I promise you it's coming. Um, and that's not me being a naysayer. That's just, that's just life, right? Good stuff and bad stuff happens to everybody everybody that's just that's just how it is it's not some twist or turn of the universe that you got dealt some bad hand um you know i could sit here and recant all the things that have happened to me over my life and i would feel sorry for myself along with everybody that hears this but it does no good instead of that turning on the inside and growing me and making and putting my battle towards 
towards inner peace. You know, it's funny. Everybody wants world peace, but I'm convinced until everybody gets concerned with inner peace, there would never be world peace because all war stems from inner war going on inside of us. And that's, I mean, you take, I can't speak for females, but I think I was born with the war, the war drums beating in my heart. All males that I know of that I've talked to, they're all drawn to a fight somehow. They want, whether in, in, in today's age, we get it out in sports or, or whatever. I played rugby in college and I literally, before every game, I felt like I was going to war. Um, but I was very unhappy on the inside, right? What if I had taken that energy and focused on the internal battle for peace and 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 that through that i would win my happy and joy so would the bad things still happen to me would the good things still happen to me yeah but none of those would be able to steal where i was right i don't know if that makes any sense but um that's the podcast today i wish i could turn to tyler and say hey tyler what do you think about that but he's not here he's actually doing some work oh my god you know how good that is that he's out of the office I hope he watches this. He's really being productive today. Those days have been few and far between. I'm kidding. I'm joking. He's very productive. But uh, but he's actually in the field doing some, some much-needed stuff that we needed done. And, man, I appreciate him. He's always been one. Um, you know, I mean, you guys get to hear Tyler all the time. He has all these podcasts and all, all, of, all of his social media. But everything that he is on there, he really is in real life. And we, we had a need in our business, and, um, and we didn't have someone to fill it. And he was like me, send me. I'll do it. And uh, just happily went. And, um, man, that's just the type of guy he is. And I think a lot of that has to do where he can be faced with so many different situations and still have inner peace because he's waged the war of personal growth on the inside. He's waged the war for peace on the inside. And so he's able to walk through a lot of different challenges. And um, and we set him to a challenge. I mean, he, he's he's got his work cut out for him between now and the end of the year. It's it's uh, it's not an easy, easy role, but he gladly took it. Anyway, that's an example of what I was talking about. Hope you guys have an awesome whatever day this comes out, Wednesday. <laughs> I know. I'm playing, sort of. I'm only half playing. <laughs> but uh, but I appreciate you. Again, this is episode 126, 126 of the Sales Wolf Podcast. I'm your host, Joseph Caldwell, and I'm a sales wolf. All right.